Hey, how's it going? And I'm doing another video on my artwork. Today I'm doing a drinking horn. Start off, you go to, I got this at Tandy Leather for like 11 bucks. It's on sale. The first thing I did was used an awl. Carved my first design in, which was this dragon I got out of a Celtic and Norse uh, design knot workbook. Carved it in, which is a bitch to do with this. <laughs> and then I used this acrylic paint to wipe in. You have to use two rags, one wet, one dry. And you you apply it on it. And you take the wet rag and wipe it off and then you gotta dry that shit off real quick because it's very porous and it will suck the paint into the cracks any little bit and it can really jack up a horn okay next thing I did was uh, started on this design around the lip of the horn I got this design out of the book as well on the back I have carbon paper I take these two together then I tape them onto the horn, go over it with a pencil. Alright, I decided I'm going to do a multimedia on this. I'm planning on, I carved this. I've got these two squares here in the eyeball on the dragon hollowed out. I'm going to put some red paint inside it. On this up here, I'm actually using a wood burner. And it smells god's awful, but it can, you can do a lot of real good detail with this. I'm gonna have that steady hand. And it turns out a good goldish brown color on most horns. If you apply too much pressure or too much heat at once, you'll get a big glob of goo horn. And it's really unattractive on a horn. And this is what I do. I sit here and listen to bluegrass metal and craft. And this is going to be an awesome drinking horn. Hopefully I'll get a stand built for it. And make it twice as expensive to buy. <laughs> Alright, this is Mike from the Canal Sword. Showing you another one of my projects. Awesome drinking horn.